You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. Once again, we are here this morning, and man, we are talking to the winner of The Voice himself, Asher Havan. Right away, sir. Congratulations, man. How you feel? I am feeling absolutely amazing. You know, I was on I was on cloud 35 <laughs> this last week and, and I'm still there. I'm still there. Man, you gotta take us through the whole journey, man. I mean, just having the opportunity to work with Reba and you just you were killing it from the get go. I mean, just kinda it, Express what was it like just to be on the stage and just have your coach in your corner? You know what? Um, it honestly felt like otherworldly. I never thought that I would even be able to stand on a stage like that, you know? Um, not even thinking about singing or working with Reba. Um, I think it was the most exciting experience I've ever experienced in my life. Um, Reba was really a godsend to me. I came, I was nervous, really trying to find my way on this show. Um, there were so many gifted and talented um, individuals, you know, but I'm so glad Reba really helped me um, not only find my place, but she also created a really safe place for me. And I love her forever. Being able to blend your gospel and R&B roots, how did you use that to just set yourself apart from the rest? You know what? Um, growing up in Selma and and singing gospel, I was I was taught stage presence. You know, I was taught to engage the audience, and so I really feel like that my gospel roots really helped me, um, or, or even catapulted me forward when it when it came to standing in front of large crowds. And my R and B um, side definitely, you know. <laughs> Um, woozle people with just the tones and the rhythms of it. And so combining them together, I think it created quite a masterpiece. When you get compliments from other coaches like John Legend, the famous one is when he shares about the text he got from his own pops, talking about how great you are. How, how does that make you feel knowing that, man, not just your coach, but other coaches are also showing that, man, this is the real deal? It hit me hard. It really hit me hard. You know, if if there was any doubt before that moment, you know, when, when John said that his dad called him, yeah. you know, first of all, like, that's your dad. You know, you've never talked about your dad on the show um, because I've watched this show for quite a long time. So to hear that, man, that like hit me in my stomach. I was like, wow. This this really could probably happen for me for real. Does it feel like the show just went super fast? Because I felt like at one moment, boom, we started, and then boom, you're here. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, once once we're rolling, um, we're rolling. And if if you don't enjoy the experience, you would miss the experience. Mm. Um, I can't even tell you how I felt in most of the performance moments because I, I live to live in the moment. So I was embracing every feeling. I was embracing um, every emotion. I was, um, I was feeling it all. And um, I was determined to just live in, to, to, to live in those moments. So yeah, it was fast, but I enjoyed the ride. Once again, talking to Asher Havan, the winner of season 25 of The Voice. Has it sunk in yet? I mean, I know your phone is blown up, but has yeah. it sunk in yet? And how has your family responded to you being the winner? You know, yesterday I was um, I was in conversation um, with someone and she was asking about the show and just kind of asking about the process and and I was sitting there explaining the process to her very eagerly and excitedly as, as if, you know, I didn't even experience it. And I went, um, you know, we went from 12 to nine to five and then the winner. And so she said, well, well, where did you place? And, and you know, I said, you know, excuse me. <laughs> she said, well, where did you place in, <laughs> in the competition? And for the first time I said out loud, oh, I won the show. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and I think it hit me yeah. because I've been reading it. I mean, literally, every time I go on Facebook, every time I go on Google, um, there's so many blogs and, and I'm on so many people's websites, but I've never said it out loud. And when I said it out loud, it tickled me. It tickled me to my core to even hear that I won season 25 of The Voice. So I think yesterday it sunk in. A lot of people are going to be asking you for advice in the future, especially people who are going to compete on, you know, the next season. I'm sure you're going to be looked at as a person of wisdom and as a mentor. If you had any uh, general advice for anybody who wants to compete on this show in the future, what words of wisdom would you share with them after all you gained from your coach? Absolutely. That's a really good question. Um, I would say be authentically you. I came into this competition knowing that I had a voice, but I thought I had to sound like the person song that I was singing. Mm. Um, it wasn't until Reba told me that I needed to trust myself more, wow. trust my ability and, and trust that I do know how to sing and I sing very well. Um, being authentic is the most powerful um, form of energy and, 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 and in-person experience that you can ever give anyone. Um, everyone is individual. And, and so I think shows like The Voice or American Idol or American Got Talent, they want to see who you are authentically um, and, and come in giving your true raw self, I think will take you further than, than your dreams could ever imagine. Your presence on social media has gone through... <laughs> <laughs> through the roof. I mean, just, just, just to say, but what is your reaction to all the great responses from the viewers and the fans <laughs> of The Voice? And how are you keeping up with that? I'm not keeping up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting it find me, right. you know, and then I keep up with it. But it, it has truly been overwhelming. Um, I think I read a post yesterday where it said, you know, millions were excited, you know, about the win. And it humbles me. It it really does because I understand that I'm a part of something bigger than what I truly am. Um, and I always want to give away in reference to that. So um, to get so many responses and, and so many um just celebration quotes and, and posts, and even from the LGBTQIA plus community, I've received so many inboxes saying, oh my God, I saw you. Um, I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to take my own journey. It's truly humbling, for sure. Last question for you. I know you have a good team around you now, as far as in your circle. Is there something in the future that you can tease our audience. And if you can't do that, let them know where they can find you on social media for the delays updates. You know what? Absolutely. You can find me on, on Instagram, um, Facebook. Uh, you know what? Just Google me and everything <laughs> will pop up. <laughs> Google yeah. me. Everything will pop up. Asher, Asher O. Havon or Asher Havon. I got so many social media handles. Uh, bro, I, I forgot <laughs> what they are. Um, but what I can say is, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to do some, some amazing things. We're talking about, um, you know, a tour. I, you know, my, my fans and followers are, are called my halos. And so, um, you know, we're, we're thinking about that. Definitely thinking about music for sure. Um, there are a lot of, um, spotted dates, you know, that, that I have coming up. Um, so, you know, right now we're, we're working on pushing out a tour, um, hopefully before this year is out. I just want to see so many people that, that did support me and, 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 and give to them, um, in person, you know, what I was able to give on the show. And so, yeah, I'm excited about that. Once again, Asher Havad, winner of season 25, The Voice, you did it. Congratulations, man. Go Thank you. have some fun, man. Thank you so much.